Hi everyone, Uzair here. In this video, we are going to configure the menus of our website. So the first thing that we need to do is to visit our WordPress admin panel. Type in your domain name slash wp-admin. Log in your WordPress account. Now what you have to do, you have to open your website in a separate tab and then go over here in appearance menu. When you hover over appearance menu, you'll see a sub menu which is called menus. Click on it. Okay, so this these are all our menus that we have over on our home page. You'll see that here is home page and here is also home page. Local news, here is also local news. And under local news, there are sub items, art, culture, events, politics. So when I go over to local news, you'll see a sub menu, magazine, world news and more, magazine, world news and more. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to configure these menus items and add our niche subcategories. So, so I'm going to open a document in which I have sorted my categories and that document is not here i'm going to pause the video and look for it one sec okay so i have found the document this document right here so these are all my categories and these are all the products which are which fall under the category of my niche what i'm going to do i am going to add these carbohydrates lipids phenolics etc etc in as in as in my menu item on my website you can either you can either delete these menus or you can edit them what we are going to do we are going to delete all of them No need to edit them, just delete all of them. Okay, now click on save menu. Now you'll see when we'll refresh our website, our toolbar is empty and it says no menu items. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to go to our post menu right here and click on categories and we are going to delete all these categories which were inserted as a demo content select all of them and click on bulk action select delete and click on apply now these all these categories have been deleted this is a default category and we are going to add all these categories that we have the first one that we need to add is carbohydrate. So in the left side, I'm going to click on name and write carbohydrates. The slug will be automatically selected. This one doesn't have any parent category. So I'm going to add also description here, which I'll do later. It's a part of SEO in which I'll explain what are carbohydrates and what is the purpose of carbohydrates on my website click on add new category our first category has been added <coughs> this category has been selected as a default category that's why it's not selectable or deletable we can we can also edit its name it's a default category Let's name it phytochemicals and the slug will also be phytochemicals, small p. It doesn't have any parent category and I'm going to click on update. Go back to categories. Let's 
add our other category lipids just like carbohydrates the slug has been automatically created if i am going to write lipid here and add my description over here and then click over here its slug will also be automatically created you will see the slug has been created and it will show like this on the internet One more thing, since these are all the subcategories of phytochemicals, what I can do, I can, uh, when creating a category, I can click over here and select phytochemicals as a parent category and click on add new category. Same thing I can do over here, click on edit, select the parent category, phytochemicals, scroll down and update. Let's do it with the rest of them. Select phytochemicals at parent, as parent category and click on update. Same here. Click on update. Okay. Go back to categories. You'll see the phytochemicals as a default category and the other categories which are the subcategories of phytochemicals have a dash sign over here which indicates that these are all subcategories. Here you'll see the slugs descriptions that we haven't added yet i'll add, add them in the next video Okay, so we have another category which is sources of phytochemicals and uh, I am going to name it phytochemicals sources which will also be another parent category. So I am going to select none over here and click on add new category. Okay, so we have two main parent categories which are phytochemical sources and phytochemicals and these are all the subcategories. Okay, so the new items that I am going to add will be a part of phytochemical sources. I'm going to capitalize this, select the parent category and then click on add new category. Okay, so I don't have enough time to add all of these. I'll add the rest later. So now let's create our menu. Go to appearance and click on menus. In the menus, you'll see that our menu, menu items on the, on the right are empty. So we need to update it so that it shows our, on our home page. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on categories on the left pane and click on view all then what I'll do I'll I'm going to select all of them or I can either click over here select all and I'm going to click over here add to menu okay so these are all have become a part of our menu if I'm going to click over here save menu and then open my home page in a separate tab all these categories are going to show like this so we don't want all of these as a separate menu because we have one parent category and the rest of them are separate subcategories what uh, like this this one here in phytochemicals we have carbohydrates lipids phenolics 
दीज सब आइटम्स हैव टू बी सब मेन्यूज ऑफ फाइटोकेमिकल्स सो वट आई एम गोइंग टू डो द फर्स्ट वन इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट आई एम गोइंग टू मूव और ड्रैग ड्रैग दिस कार्बोहाइड्रेट अंडर फाइटोकेमिकल्स लाइक दिस सो यूल सी डैट इट हैज अ न्यू टर्म कॉल्ड सब आइटम नेक्स्ट टू इट इट मीन्स डैट कार्बोहाइड्रेट हैज बिकम अ सब मेन्यू फाइटोकेमिकल्स आई एम गोइंग टू सेव ओवर हेयर then i am going to refresh my home page now you'll see a small downward arrow called uh when i ho hover over it it will it will show me carbohydrate now what i need to do i need to move all these sub items that i have here under phytochemicals the next one is lipids so where is lipid i am going to move it and read then the next one is phenolics to move it also next one is trypanoids this one two alkaloids this one two nitrogen containing compounds okay so i am going to save menu the next main category that we have phytochemical sources is right here and i am going to move all the products that i have under it drag and drop them a little bit to the right click on save menu now that you will refresh your home page you'll see that your home page has become concise and you have created a sub menu so in the next video we are going to add an about us page and in the footer you'll see that all the menu items are showing it like this we are going to update this one too go to your home page and click on edit with tag diff composer if you come over here you can select a menu okay so suppose i don't want my menu items to show over here i just want to show the pages that we are going to add to the next lecture called cookies and privacy policy affiliate disclosure so i'm going to select a new menu over here which we'll do in the next video this footer this footer will be updating in the in the next several lectures because in the next video we are going to add cookies privacy policy affiliate disclosure then we are going to add those items over here so let this be for now this is it for the video see you see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day